to somebody, what is the issue? That's a good question, isn't it? Um, look, the issue is that in Australia, less than one in ten women have key executive positions. Fifty-six percent of organisations still have no women on their boards, and of the top two hundred companies, only six percent are led by women. So we have six female CEOs. So that seems to be very heavily weighted towards men, and 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 speaks of great imbalance at the top. Um, so that essentially really is the issue. Mm. So how did you both get involved? Um, well, Wally and I are both um, on the research committee for the 100% project. The 100% project is a not-for-profit that specifically works to get more women into, you know, to increase opportunities to get more women into senior leadership positions. We thought that um, a piece of research to look at quotas and what they could potentially do um, in terms of redressing some of the balance would be um, a sensible thing to do. And so what was the level of support for quotas? Mm. Well, given the um, controversy that surrounds them and that it's quite a polarising topic, we were actually surprised by the level of support um, mm. um, in the research. So exactly 50% of people showed support um, for gender quotas. Mm. Um, what was also interesting was there was 35% that didn't support them and 15% that were neutral, so essentially sitting on the fence, which is also surprising because it's not what we expected. No. We considered no. it quite a polarising topic, so we thought that people would feel quite strongly either way. Mm. And so what, what drives those attitudes? Um, so it was, that's not a simple answer. There were a number of different things that drove attitudes either um, for or against yeah. support yeah. for quotas. Um, some of the main things, um, there was a strong thing that came out around meritocracy. So there was a strong sense that um, people that didn't support quotas felt that um, Australia was built on a foundation of meritocracy and that was something that they felt so quite strongly about um, and the sense was that quotas would violate that. And on the flip side, people that did support them felt that quotas would create meritocracy in a system that um, was unfair. Um, and there was, alongside that, the sense mm. that um, people that tended to support the status quo or imbue it with legitimacy or see it as fair didn't support quotas. And again, on the flip side, people that were likely to challenge the status quo felt that quotas would be a good mechanism to uncover merit. Um, Hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. Issues. and as a result of your research, what would you like to see happen from now on? Well, um, I guess as a result of our research, it depends a little bit on whether or not Australia decides to go down the road of quotas, because quotas actually means that you set targets, but targets with sort of man mandated consequences, if you like, so legislated consequences. So that means you don't meet the quota. There is something happens. Um, um, what we would like, what we would say as a result of our research though, is what we noticed um, is that if those people who did not support quotas, if you gave them more information about the fact that discrimination actually does still exist in Australia and we are not actually really a meritocracy as much as people might like to believe it, or um, you gave them the business case, so why would it be good for the country to have more balance at the top? Then some people, not all, but some would actually change their mind. So as much as we actually thought that um, everybody understood the issue, what the research also shows is people don't actually really understand the issue, or not as many people as we were hoping. So one of the things we need to do is more education and awareness raising. Mm. And, and one other thing to add on that that came out is that people have a strong sense that they need to feel that the system is fair. Um, so if quotas are to be introduced, there needs to be a strong sense that um, quotas um, are synonymous with fairness. And also we, what we need to think about is if the quota system is introduced, how we support women that get selected under a quota system? Because um, there has been some research done before that suggests that women selected under quotas feel like 
um, they're less competent um, and also perceived in that way by others. Um, so we need to think about how do we support women that are selected under them if that's the direction that we decide to take. Mm, absolutely.